What's up, YouTube? It's your buddy, Madfox13. And as you can see from the table a little today at the, at the workbench, actually, you know, I'm having a little bit of an off day, but, you know, today and stuff, we're going to be making a, we're actually going to be making our own uh, dash cam mount because the dash cam that came with my, that I got from my motorcycle, the little mount thing that actually kept it stuck up here. Let's see if I can actually get the camera. You know, the thing that actually kept it to where the little mount that made it to where it's stuck up there had to come undone. It didn't want to stay on there. So, you know what? I, I didn't feel like ordering another one. I didn't feel like being out no more money and stuff to have to replace it or to do something. So, you know what? Today, I'm gonna be making my own. I'm gonna be doing my own mount. And as you see, yeah, this thing, I found this around the garage, just a piece of metal and stuff. You know, you can get the, you can get these and stuff either at Home Depot or wherever metal parts are sold. But, you know, I will advise this to anybody and stuff. What I'm gonna be doing today and stuff with making this mount, requires cutting metal so if you if you're not used to that and stuff if you do not know how to do that at all i would not recommend stuff doing this unless you go to someone or have someone do it for you to cut a piece of metal like this which you know like i said so first you now i want to measure this to where Got that. Okay. Don't got no. Okay. I know this piece ain't gonna probably come out perfect the way I want it to. And before anything, before you use your cutting tool, you now, better switch this. Switch it to the other side. Yeah, I just I just got this. Yeah, you know, went to Walmart and got it. But before anything, I'll advise, even if you're professional and stuff, and you already know this, and you know, but if you're even new at this stuff, wear gloves, wear glasses, wear a mask and stuff. So you don't breathe nothing in, you don't get nothing in your eyes, and you know, you don't mess up your hands, which, you know, I'd rather wear gloves than have to get my hands all messed up if I work on anything and stuff. The only time I don't wear gloves is if, is if it comes to certain things. And also too, always keep a bucket of water. So just in case something gets out of control, if the sparks hit something, hey, you got a bucket of water. First thing, let's put on our gloves. And I'm using actually my headband mount and stuff that came with my GoPro to, uh, mount and stuff. Make sure this is good and tight so whenever you're cutting, which I know I ain't gonna probably be able to cut a perfect deal, but you know, I'm gonna do the best I can do. Come on. Those 
I just don't want to get on. Okay. Well, where is the... Right the first time. I knew I wasn't going to be able to cut that perfect, but... Like I said, it wasn't going to turn out perfect, but, you know. cut the best I could. too much. So, let's grab this. And,
Man, it smells like burnt plastic in here now. Okay. Now, let's see how that worked. Oh, that's much more better now. Okay. Now. Let's take off the bolts. Take off those glasses more than anything. Your buddy Mad Fox is having a little bit of an off day. Get these gloves off before anything. Sometimes it takes so long to get these off real quick, which, you know, I would put these, I would use a screw, I would use this on a drill, electric drill to take these off, but I don't want to strip the screws. Because if you strip, if you strip the screws, then you're going to have to replace them. And then you're going to have to be out more money. Which, you know, that's something I'm trying not to have to do is, you know, I don't like having to be out money a whole lot. It's ridiculous, you know. Windshield off that. Put that there. Make sure all the screws are right there. Yeah.
Okay, this is something that somebody taught me. My trip up to Colorado. Yeah. It worked for my GoPro mount, so hopefully it will work for this too. And you know, I wouldn't advise doing this. Um, if you have a heat gun, use a heat gun. But if you don't, def then you'll have to go with a lighter. Piece. Let's see. How much do I need for this? Better yet. I'll cut it while it's actually on the deal instead. One thing I hate about this double-sided tape, you gotta peel this red, this red seal off. It's hard.
sure all these are good and tight. Crooked. There we go. There. On my dash cam mount, don't have to worry. this dash cam a whole lot because you know what this is the thing about it you know you can only do so much and if someone messes with your bike and stuff when you're outside at least hey you know what there's a micro SD card in here it helps you out and let's just say you walk away from your motorcycle you get pulled over and you uh let's just say and stuff that you uh want to you want to record and stuff and you're away from your motorcycle just in case a police officer tells you hey come over this way get off the bike come over here but you know what i'll explain these type of cameras and stuff in another video but until next time like subscribe hit that notification bell and as always sayonara